What is a cause of death you certainly don't want to die from? John Jones, who got stuck upside down in a super tight cave passage in Utah and rescuers couldn't get him out. So they had to just let him die and then sealed the cave up. Yeah, not my ideal bucket kicking. Drown in the mud like soldiers during World War I. Being skinned, edit, I mean it like being flayed while fully conscious. Rabies. I remember reading about this guy that fell into a pit of concrete powder, and he inhaled some of it. It set in his lungs, causing him to very slowly and painfully suffocate. Glowworms. The way they kill their prey is one of the most painful ways to die in the animal kingdom. They use the silk stands to attract prey, paralyze them, drill a hole in the side of their head and fill their insides with stomach acid, then leave them for two weeks to digest. Being put in a big metal container naked then having the container get heated by a fire. It would be way worse than just being caught on fire. Being tortured. I just want a quick R and lights out. Call it a day. Getting buried alive. Drowning is one of my worst fears. Fire. Surviving a high-speed car crash only to come out of surgery, live in massive pain for two days and then your heart gives out from all the excruciating pain. Or surviving a fire but over half your body is covered in third-degree wounds, only to die weeks before being cleared to leave and having to spend all those years in the burn unit only to never see the outside world again. Radiation poisoning. Lava. It's a lot worse than movies make it look. Getting a sword stuck in my anus. Respiratory distress. Killed by someone I know. I don't want to spend the last minutes of my life with the conflicting thought of all the moments I lived with that person versus what they're doing to me at the moment. Fear, frustration, sadness, betrayal, pain. Mental illness driving me to commit suicide. Smothered by a gang of puppies and then all of them trying to enter my body through my mouth. Plane crash. Edit, it's not how quick or slow death can be. Op is talking about the cause of death not how painful it can be. A plane crash can be terrifying especially if the plane disintegrates midair and you'll be thrown into a 30,000 feet free fall. And I don't want my family and friends to live with that. Diarrhea. An erection lasting more than 4 hours. Driving off a bridge into deep water. It's never happened to me, but for some reason the sound of a windshield cracking upon impact with water and the feeling of a seatbelt digging into my neck and hips pop up in my nightmares a lot. I have a hard time crossing bridges in vehicles, thanks to that. Being dissected like cutting open your stomach and that stuff. Dying from Alzheimer's. I've seen too many people in nursing homes and too many family members die from it. It hurts me now to think if I had Alzheimer's I'll forget the ones I love. I'll probably hurt them emotionally and physically. I might cheat on my so. People might say, yeah but you won't know. But duck that, I don't want it. I'm also taking care of my dad who has Parkinson's, it's another ducking awful way to die. To slowly lose control of your entire body, and you're just a prisoner inside your own head. And it's not an instant death. It takes years. Many obvious ones have already been said so I want to share something different. You wake in the night hearing a noise downstairs and cautiously go to check it out. Your worst fears are realized when you find a man dressed in black with a balaclava on. Wanting to protect your wife you charge at him, there's a scuffle and you find yourself pinned down as he stabs you several times leaving you too weak to stop him harming your wife. With your last bit of energy you reach up and pull off his balaclava only to see the assailant was your closest friend. Then you see your wife stood on the stairs, I'm sorry, she says coldly, we only did it for the insurance payout. Quote. Death by lathe. It's not so much for me as it is for the poor duck who has to untangle me. Like that poor chick lost in the Odessa catacombs, total darkness, panic, silence and just slowly fading from lack of everything. Cannot imagine a more drawn out and miserable way to go. So sad. Cancer or any terminal illness. Brain eating amoeba. Cheese grater. Nice try god. Dying alone and slowly from old age, after everyone I know is dead. Get hung by my Achilles tendons. Have you heard about that guy who died after having anal sex with a horse? That's definitely how I don't wanna go out. Bleeding from my head because I sneezed while sleeping. I just don't want my dog to see me die. Drowning.
duck drowning. Not taking care of myself when I know that I can. Not enough people realize that they're taking their youth for granted. Myself included, of course. Starvation, it lasts a long time and I can barely go a day being hungry. Any way that dehumanizes me. When I die I want to look like myself, not decapitated or distorted in some freaky way. Starving. That one torture method where they leave a rat on top of your stomach trapped and starve the rat so it digs through your stomach. Crucifixion sounds pretty bad too or being burned in gasoline. Slowly wasting away in a retirement home. Drowning. Almost drowned three times. None of them were fun. Please don't drown me. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Alzheimer. I have a seizure condition, and when I have had a seizure there is a period of time where I cannot remember certain things. For instance there was an incident where I couldn't remember friends' names, or how to do basic things like wash the dishes. I could not muster any memory of how to turn the water on, use the dish soap or how to actually clean the dish. It has lasted for upwards of a week. And it's scary, because you cannot communicate meaningfully with others. So I couldn't imagine being like that without recourse. I just got told of a case, where a guy put a pantyhose over his head, added some cheddar on top and sat a day in front of a heating lamp. Suffocated on melting cheese. Way to go. In a plane crash. The actual impact isn't what I'm talking about, it's the unbearable amount of terror you'd experienced before. Like you know you're going to die while hurling to the ground, and everybody in a screaming panic around you. Gets my anxiety up whenever I think about it. I'm going on a 9 hours plane trip next month and I have a severe phobia of them. Duck. If you like it and wanna see more, please like the video and subscribe.